What's going on? Hey Dan, could see another round of strong to severe storms on Wednesday, and we want to keep you ahead of the storm. It's going to have that mild feel that it wants to rain, and storms are going to grow more prevalent in the afternoon. Now, when you wake up Wednesday morning, there could be a round of rain or thunderstorms to greet you on your way to work. That one is not expected to be severe. It is going to be those strong storms from noon until 8 o'clock p.m. that bring us the unsettled and stormy weather. Straight line winds will be the biggest impact. As this line of storms rolls on through along a cold front, there is the chance for 60 mile an hour damaging wind gusts. Last but not least, if you're one of those folks who does have a fear of tornadoes, I do want to give you some reassurance that it's a very low risk. That being said, there is still the chance that we get a brief spin up and we'll be live on WTOL 11 and all of our streaming platforms if there is any severe weather that pops up Wednesday afternoon. Right now, high and dry across the Buckeye State, but in southern and central. Central Michigan, there's a front that's stalled out and the rain showers are very persistent, especially to the north of the state line. A swath of soaking rain across north central Michigan and also some showers in southern Michigan. Hillsdale picked up about a tenth of an inch, looking up towards Kalamazoo, close to one inch. And folks to the west of Flint saw over three inches of rainfall where that front is stationed. A few scattered showers are possible tomorrow. It's also going to be one of those lake breeze days where it's in the 50s in the metro, but if you live south of Toledo, it might be 70 degrees tomorrow. Here's a look at the timing on our next rainfall chance. We're going to be mostly dry, that breeze coming in out of the east-northeast. Now look at this region of thunderstorms in Illinois. It is going to weaken as it approaches in our direction. That lake breeze is actually going to squash any thunderstorm chances. Could see a few late-day showers, but overall I suspect due to our more cool and stable air mass, that'll um, destroy any conditions convection or any thunderstorms that do decide to make their way on through. Now Wednesday's a different story. This yellow area shows you a level two out of five severe weather risk and the biggest impacts heavy rain, straight line winds and frequent lightning with these storms. This cold front sweeping in from the west is going to be the spark for our thunderstorm chances. I want to start to pinpoint the hour by hour timing as early as lunchtime 12 noon. We could see thunderstorms begin to develop north and west of the metro. They are going to become more prevalent in the afternoon. Those vivid oranges and reds show you the heaviest of downpours and you'll notice a line of thunderstorms moving on through around dinner time and finally clearing off by sunset. Biggest impact going to be those winds 60 mile an hour damaging straight line winds possible. The tornado risk is low and heavy rainfall up to an inch possible in some of those downpours. That alert day shaded bright and red for you on Wednesday. If you do manage to squeeze in a few minutes of dry weather, it'll feel balmy and breezy behind that alert day. Nice and dry weather worry free Thursday through Saturday. Spotty showers arrive Sunday and overall some milder April weather ahead. Dan John, thank you something